1111 Memories Retold simply looks like a moving painting. There's literally no other way to describe it. Every single frame is made up of millions of individual paint strokes that are rendered every time, and it's a wonderful effect and gives the game a particular and unique style to it. There's no shortage of video games that mimic various art styles, but they tend to typically turn to watercolours, which is, for some reason, an easier effect to make. But 1111 takes after the many quick brushstrokes and the oil-on-canvas look of Impressionism. When it works, it works remarkably well, creating the, well, impression of a scene. It's often aided by strong and colourful lighting, so when there's contrast between colours and more simplistic shapes maybe that can relate to you what's going on without needing to go into too much detail. The opening of Harry's story, for example, has him photographing a woman named Julia before being coerced into heading off to war to chronicle the glories of Major Barrett. And here you have the shape of the shadows of the skylight frame helping to create and pull together a scene. Unfortunately, this look can struggle at other times, and switching from Harry to Kurt on the German side of the war as he's working in a Zeppelin construction factory does expose some of these weaknesses. Here the noisiness of the airship's metal frame shimmers as it moves, and the thick lines manage to look like aliasing against the golden brown sunlight that is streaming through the windows. It tries to go for the same kind of effect, but it ends up looking more like a blown up PlayStation 1 game than it does an impressionist painting. Now maybe I am being a little bit harsh on the game here, but it would certainly be better for the art to work across the board. That said, it does make for some truly striking scenes as you inevitably head off to war. Harry and Kurt both willingly sign up, but they do so for very, very different reasons. Harry is all about impressing his girl, making a name for himself, going off to war to have a jolly good time and teach those Jerrys a lesson. Or at least, that's what Major Barrett convinces him he's going to be like. Kurt, on the other hand, receives the much more sobering news report of his son's unit suffering major losses, and so he decides to sign up to try and find his son on the front. So there's certainly an emotional undercurrent as you find them on opposite sides of a mad assault on the heavily fortified German defences. Major Barrett is leading the charge, going from one bit of cover in the utterly obliterated no man's land, calling on you to follow him all the way and take dramatic photos of his glory. And it's here that the game looks by far at its best. You've got the pools of light in the muddy wasteland, you've got the night sky being cut through by the tracer of machine gun fire and explosions as artillery shells land. On the other side of things, Kurt is running back and forth, trying to keep the German lines running smoothly, trying to fix a munitions lift, getting water for cooling the machine guns, and so on. I will say it's maybe not the most inventive or most polished gameplay, we've seen much more in-depth interactions in plenty of other games, but it's really about building an atmosphere and a story here. Almost appropriately for the name, it feels like we've actually been here before. So maybe there aren't many World War I games out there, but that really helps those that have been made stand out from the crowd all the more. Battlefield 1 told a series of short stories through the war, trying to undercut them with an emotional impact, but arguably it was Valiant Hearts The Great War from Ubisoft that gets the tone just right, mixing its side-scrolling puzzles with those meaningful stories that had a real emotional impact. I think it's no faint praise to say that 11.11 Memories Retold is reminiscent for me of the latter game more than the former. Perhaps it's a bit more grounded still, but it is reminiscent nonetheless. I mean, there's even sections where you get to play as an animal. As Kurt and Harry come together on the battlefield, they're isolated. They're enemies. Kurt has a gun and you have a choice to make. But before you see the results of your choice, you're transported to be a cat in the trenches, spotting a rather tasty looking pigeon and giving chase down into the tunnels. As Remembrance Sunday approaches, and with the release date just before on the 9th of November, 1111 Memories Retold looks to be a much more engaging look back at what was a devastating and wasteful folly of rival empires. You have these contrasting viewpoints on the conflict, and it tries to tell an emotional story, but it's really brought to life by the vivid art style that is quite literally painted for you before your very eyes. Thanks as ever for checking out this video, I hope you have enjoyed this look at 11.11. The game, as I just said, it's out on the 9th of November, and you can catch both our written preview and also a playing with history feature on the game over on thesixthaxis.com. Before you go, please do like, subscribe and share, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Goodbye!